Happy day, friends. Just look, look, I mean, aside, aside from this, like I know these have been in our house for probably close to a week now, but the rest of my house is looking pretty clean. And I'm proud of that because that's something that I have struggled with for a long time is keeping a clean house. And I know like day to day it gets messy, but I've been doing so much better than I used to. Honestly, having more space, like having our bigger house helps a lot, but I'm proud of it. And it's like something that I've kind of said as my goal is to be a better home maker, home keeper, whatever. And so I've been taking baby steps and I'm just feeling proud. And let me just point out the elephant in the room. Like I know I have this pimple patch on. I didn't forget about it. It's there because I need it. Um, I cannot wait to sleep on my back again. I sleep comfortably. I sleep just fine on my side or on my belly when I'm not pregnant, but I just get acne. I do, I'm a drooler and I, and I get acne. So I'm just gonna point this out right now. I'm aware that it's here. It's helping one of my things clear up so that it doesn't turn into a big red mess. <laughs> and more and more and more, this pregnancy is proving to be wildly different than my other two. I didn't see it at first. I told you guys, I know, like, you kept telling me it's different, it's different, it's different, and I didn't believe you. But I craved this today, and so I'm drinking it. And dang, is it hitting the spot. I have never been a soda drinker in my life. Never have I gone for soda, ever, ever in my life. It's never been my top choice, but I just want a soda right now. It sounds so good to me and it is so good. Normally, I dislike soda. And this boy, he is moving a lot more than I remember the girls moving. And I'm really worried about that, you guys. <gasps> Micah, when I was pregnant with Micah, Micah's our oldest, for those of you who don't know. She moved in my belly. I could definitely feel her moving, but it was, it was pretty limited as far as I can compare it to now. She didn't move a whole lot in comparison to my other two pregnancies. And she was an absolute potato for the first like six months of her life, maybe even eight or nine months. I don't know, even know if she really crawled much until like nine months, I don't even remember. Anyways, she was a potato, she was an easy baby, we didn't have to chase her around, we didn't have to worry about her climbing on things or getting into things or falling off of things. Um, and Paige was a bit more active in my belly and she came out definitely more interested in exploring, definitely a little bit more of a risk taker. <laughs> If you guys know Paige, uh, if you've seen enough of our vlogs, you can definitely see the personality difference between the two of our girls. And it's so fun. It really is so fun. They, they, they are just amazing in their own ways. But this pregnancy, this baby has been moving a lot and kicking hard and pushing hard right on my belly where it hurts and I'm only 28 weeks in, which means he's just gonna keep getting stronger and stronger and moving probably more and more as he gains a little bit more control of his body. And I'm terrified, like what if he comes out and he starts crawling around at like five months and then he's walking by eight months and like my whole world's gonna flip upside down. And, and maybe I'll become a soda drinker at that point. Maybe I'll just need that afternoon cup to just kind of, ease myself. I don't know you guys. <sighs> it's hitting the spot today. It really is. Never did I think in my life I'd be really craving this, but here I am. Pregnancy does weird things to you. It really does. What happened? What happened? Oh my goodness. Our elf Bernard left us a message. Should we read it? <laughs> Okay, ignore the fact that he's sitting next to all the liquor. But. Ask mom to use her phone and call 605-313-0691 and have a happy day. Love, Bernard. Ooh, do you think we should call it and see what it is? Uh, shoot. Actually, we should probably, I was gonna say like, okay, well Paige, I can do it with Paige later, but we should probably wait for dad. 
I think dad will want to see whose phone number this is. You think? Nah. <laughs> I know, it's hard to be patient. Let's go get dressed so that dad and you can go out shopping in a little bit. But let's go get dressed wait, wait. and then. I see something at the What? This one there. Oh, you want to show them? Sure. We decorated this today. This was our arts and craft for today. We decorated these Christmas sweaters. Mine and... was the red and green. Yep, you did red and green. And Paige did pink and blue. And Mom did turquoise. And we hung it up. Micah, so we have this other banner over here. You can see it's hanging over here now. She immediately came over here, ripped it off, and started trying to hang up yours, huh? You did a good, you did a good job. This is a great spot for it. <laughs> High five, dude. Oh, you turkeyed me! <laughs> You're quick. You wanna do Play-Doh? Yeah. I can get the Play-Doh out. No, he's getting the Play-Doh. Oh, he's getting it, okay, I yeah. guess. That's fine. Oh my! You're like all ready to go, but you are just wanting to play with Play-Doh. That's fine. <laughs> what are you going to make with your Play-Doh? Bata! Blah, blah. Da, bata! Blah, 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 blah. Finish now. What, you don't know what I'm saying? Because I'm a gummy bear. I'm a gummy bear. I'm a money hungry, funny, lummy gummy bear. Oh, that's so cute. Ah, oh, you smushed it. <laughs> she's, oh. smashing, she's smashing all the things I gave her. She gave me her heart, and then Aww. I can't do that. I can't smash her heart. Yeah, you better not. And now a little pretzel. That looks like it will be a yummy pretzel. I wonder what's gonna happen to it. Aww. I eat it. Oh! Hey, you eat my food. You eat my food. <laughs> well, Paige is still taking her nap, so we are gonna do it with Paige again later. But here, do you want to call a phone number that Bernard told you to call? Oh, whoops. I don't know what that is. Hold on. Whoops. All right, okay, can you type the number? Okay, now click this green button, it means call. Okay, let's see. Who do you think it could be calling? Tell him anything else? No, that's all. Should we get anything for baby brother? Oh. I want an orange pterodactyl and Merry Christmas. Nice, they're very nice. Wow, I can't believe Bernard knew Santa's phone number. That's so cool, huh? Wow. Did Is that it so cool? Did it make you a little nervous when he said he knows who's been naughty or nice? No? That's good. Okay, good. I hear Paige. I know, I hear Paige too. I wonder if she sensed that we were doing something without her <laughs> and woke up. Should we um, should we let Paige call the phone number now? No. Why? It will scare her. It scared you a little bit, but then you knew it was Santa Claus and then it wasn't scary. Huh. I think Paige would like it. I think we should call Santa with Paige. Look, Paige, Bernard left us this note today. He wrote that.
for you, Micah. And it says, ask mom to use her phone and call this number and have a happy day. Love, Bernard. Can you believe it? And it sent it. Do you want to call it? Can you go get my phone, Micah? I don't know where I put it. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> Look. Okay, let's call. No, don't call it. You don't want to hear it again? <laughs> I, think, I think Micah was a... Let's call Santa. Mom, don't ask <laughs> Anything else? No. That's all? You just want a blue pterodactyl? Do you want to tell him anything else? Like Merry Christmas? Or something else? What do you want to tell him? We have, we decorated the sweaters. Yeah, we decorated the sweaters. Maybe when he comes to our house, he'll see them. We can leave them up and he can see them. That was so cool, huh, Paige? Yeah, come on again, like, so much she loved it. Hey, it's pretty cute. Pretty time? cute. I don't think Paige was afraid. I think maybe because you told her that it was Santa Claus's number. So she knew what to expect. And when you called, we didn't know who it was. So it was a little bit scary almost. Huh. <laughs> Micah was so nervous. You could see it on her face when we called. She was like. What in the heck is this? So I heard you asked for a blue pterodactyl. It's gonna be tough. I don't know how Santa's gonna pull it off. He'll find a way. Oh no, he'll <laughs> wake it up. All right, we're out of here. Come on, kiddo. What in the world? All right, bye, love you, have fun. Bye. Bye, have a don't good- Don't worry, her coat's in the car. Don't worry. <laughs> love you guys. Bye, love you. Can I eat something with this? You want to eat something with it? Well, you know that's just pretend food, right? That's just like a pretend thing. We don't really eat that. Do you want like a real snack or do you just want some more pretend snacks? I want the real snack. Okay, I'll get you a real snack. I'm going to get you a, a bow so you can see better. No, I can't see. Oh, okay. Well, only because I pushed it out of your eyes. Can you keep pushing it out of your eyes when it gets in the way? There, that's better. I do want to point out though that with that whole Santa number, um, it is a service and calling it is free, but if you want the recorded message that your kids leave, or if you want to hear it or send it to somebody else, it does cost like one cent per minute or something. We have not listened to the recordings, so I don't know what it's like, but for us, the whole experience is just them getting to talk to Santa, so. So we're going on like an hour eating, right? It's been like an hour since you sat down for a snack and you've just wanted more and more and more. You must be growing, you must be very hungry. So snack time has turned into dinner time. And so this is dinner. You had a lot of little things for dinner tonight. I think Mike and Dad are just gonna go somewhere. Here you go. There's some oranges. Orangey, 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 orangey. So she was playing with Play-Doh and wanted some real food like you guys saw. And so I got her a banana. She ate the whole thing. And then you were still hungry and you ate a square cheese, right? Some cheese. And then she was still hungry. And then you ate a granola bar. Then you were still hungry. So you had some Greek yogurt with honey drizzle. And then you were still hungry. And so you are having an orange now. I'm done. You're done now? You're all done, half an orange? Not even half an orange, two, two little segments of an orange. 
That's all it took? Are you full now? Yeah. You all done? You ready to go? Yeah. What? What? Are you done? No. You still want more? Are you like a hungry caterpillar? Okay, well, you have an orange still. You asked no. for an orange. If you're still hungry, you can eat your orange. Or if you're full, if you're full, I can wipe you off. I'm going to go downstairs and play. Okay, let's go downstairs and play. One hand. One hand. Thank you. Mom, mom. What? Mom, don't get my heart. Yeah. I will get it off, don't worry. Okay, let's go downstairs and play. Hi, little chipmunk. How are you? Are you good? Are you eating your cookie? I have been rearranging the playroom. Not that there is a whole lot to rearrange, let's be honest. Literally, we have this table and this kitchen and our play set over here. And we've had these mattresses in here just because when the girls got their new mattresses, we just, you know, we let them play on these for a long time. And I think it's almost time. The girls have loved dancing on them, but here's a little secret. Mom. We got them another one of these for Christmas. Mom, um, a different brand, but hopefully it's still the same quality. And Mom, I'm a chipmunk. I know you're a chipmunk. A little, she calls it a chickmunk. You're being a really nice little chipmunk. But I think come Christmas time, when they open up their other one, we will no longer have use for these down here. We will no longer want them because we can simply double stack two of these up and and it'll be basically the same thing. But I did order and I'm really excited about this because I have not really started on the playroom yet, but I got a little toy uh, shelving unit, just one of those cube shelving units for right over here. That way it doesn't interfere with our movie space if we ever wanted to a movie in here with the projector, um, but it'll be a good spot to start putting some toys out for them to rotate through. I'm gonna move most of their toys from upstairs into this closet right here, so it's going to be a fully functioning playroom. I'm really excited about that. I think they will get much more use out of their toys that way because so many of their toys are out of reach in their closet where they, they just have no access to them and I have no spot to rotate them, so they never get played with. And so I am very, very, very excited to set this up for them. And as far as like decorating it goes, I don't know if I'll get around to that quite yet. That might be a project for after baby, because my main focus um, is gonna be the nursery coming up real soon. I, I have to start getting some furniture for that, start piecing that together, and set it up so it's comfortable for myself, because I'm gonna be in there all the time nursing, taking care of baby. I want it to feel nice and look nice and, and just be a comfortable space for me and baby and Austin and the girls if they come in and want to play with baby, which I'm 100% sure they will. Bye. Bye. Love you. Love you too. Have fun with the kids. I will. What did you and dad get to do? We go to Manchies and yeah. go to a you did? Yay. Sounds like you got lots of good stuff. I realized just a little bit ago that I still had this stupid thing on. <laughs> and I didn't realize it was like falling off my face. I don't know how long it was like that, so I apologize if you were looking at this little band-aid flapping on my face. But Austin completely forgot that he was going to a hockey game with one of his friends tonight. So he's definitely going to be late. But it sounds like Micah and Austin had a really great daddy-daughter date. But it is bedtime, so I am going to get them their bedtime snack, get them up to bed, jammies, big bed book club, brush teeth, and get to bed. What if we do four books tonight for big bed book club? Because it's girls' night. Because it's girls' night. That's right. Okay, sound good? Okay, we will see you guys next time. Bye, friends.